What's up, everybody? We are here at Retro Rat in Largo, Florida. We actually just filmed a really fun, goofy, insane one minute short, so go check that out. It's already up on the channel. Um, but I figured while we were here, we're gonna highlight a few really cool things that I saw around the store and also give a better shout out than just the one minute video by bringing in Austin, the owner of Retro Rat. Give yourself a little plug. Hey, how's it going? Uh, I'm the owner of Retro Rat here at uh, 1915 East Bay Drive, Largo, Florida. And uh, how long have you been open? Uh, we actually just celebrated our three-year anniversary about two weeks ago. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, you look really good for three years old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't have any gray hair until I opened this place. Yeah, right. <laughs> so we're going to go look around, show a few good things, and then, uh, you know, maybe pick up something. Sounds good, brother. All right. All right. I thought these were really cool, Eddie. All this boxed, like, X-Men toys or some Spawn, but mainly I wanted to show that a lot of the stuff in the store has like original stickers from like KB Toy Store, Toys R Us, uh, even, you know, sometimes old Walmart stickers, that kind of stuff are cool to look at. Uh, and they say, this one says $7.99, but obviously has like the real price of like 25 bucks on there. Uh, but Austin was telling me that, you know, he sometimes has customers come up and they'll bring up all these KB Toy Store stickers and they'll be like, awesome, eight bucks. And he's like, well, we're not KB Toys. We leave the stickers on for cool factor and, you know, for the fact that sometimes stickers can destroy the package. Um, but, you know, um, you can pretend it's KB Toys and then pay the actual price over here of 26 bucks. But I thought that was pretty cool. So in this case, we have a bunch of like seal wrestling figures, but I thought these were pretty funky. These stretching, like basically stretch Armstrong style. Yeah. Like the, there's the Undertaker. We have uh, Psycho Sid, Brett Hitman Hart. Uh, back there, Shawn Michaels. Shawn's looking a little sad. Looks like he's <laughs> a little deflated these days. Um, but I also wanted to point out the wrestling stuff because Ethan Page, if you're watching this, we've talked a few times through like comments, but um, you need to come down to the Tampa Bay area because there are a ton of toy and video game shops. So uh, if anyone knows him more like personally than just you know through YouTube comments, um, let him know and tell him to hit up Scott Squatch. Austin sent me a photo of this when he first got it in on Facebook. This is a corn band board little skateboard back like in the tech deck era. It has the cover of the Issues album on it. It is pretty sweet. They, uh, oh, I didn't even realize this. They did every variation of the Issues cover as well. That is pretty awesome. I love this era. There was so much corn merchandise, not as much as Kiss ever had, but there was, if you can think of it, lunch boxes, Obviously, every piece of clothing, article, bed sheets, even the Guitar Hero uh, guitars had re interchangeable corn face plates. Um, so I kind of wish I was working for them in the late 90s. I would have had so much more cool free stuff. But uh, hey, I'm still happy to work for you guys. It's, it's fine. I'm not bad mouthing you, I promise. Real quick on the other side of the store from like all the wrestling stuff. Uh, you have a cool movie and horror-based section here. A bunch of cool, I mean, I love Gremlins. Anything Gremlins is always awesome. Uh, the Thing, literally my favorite movie of all time. You gotta look at him. He's so pretty. Look at that beard. Uh, and then over on this wall, sort of a hodgepodge of all just different, like, sealed action figures. Uh, looks like some newer stuff also mixed in. And then, of course, the one billion and two Funko Pops. Uh, never collected Funko Pops myself, but I, I know like 99% of the world did. So I'm, I'm one of the ones that somehow missed out on that whole trend. Just to give a quick spin of this room, a ton of loose random action figures over here. You got a bunch of like Transformers. There's loose wrestling figures on that wall. You got your Star Wars. Of course, the power of the force. Every toy store has to have some power of the force stuff. Uh, a bunch of superhero X-Men and Marvel Legends guys. And there's even a pretty decent sized amount of comic books in here. The store has a little bit of everything, honestly. I mentioned in the short really quick as we were running through that, hey, there's a video game store inside of a toy store. Uh, I wanted to point out a few of the cool things I saw, which one of them was this not for resale uh, Zelda Link to the Past Four Swords. Uh, I have a thing for like things you couldn't buy promo stuff, uh, not for resale cards. But I thought that one was pretty interesting. I love this case also that you can spin it, carefully spin it and not knock, knock, knock things out and fall on the floor. Austin's watching me as I'm spinning it. <laughs> uh, and then over here, we have uh, a big old wall of a little bit of everything. Wii, Xbox, GameCube, PS2, and some really nice box systems down here. We have a Sega CD, 
a Sega Saturn, some uh, games obviously to go with those. And then in this front cabinet, uh, some of the more higher dollar, like more sought after stuff. But I really like this cabinet, uh, the front counter as well. It's just a great showcase. Uh, light lighting lighting in cases is always a struggle at any store that sells basically any like kind of collectible where you have to have it locked up uh, so to be able to um, actually see items and uh, you know read labels and kind of things is, is a big plus so I like how almost all of his cases in here are all lit up little blast from the past from my childhood uh, like most people uh, that are born in the maybe early to mid 80s and grew up with like Ninja Turtles and the Ninja Turtle toys I had a lot of these these are all sealed there's some funky ones I definitely didn't have I never had Dr. L which he's going for 210 bucks uh, elephant tribal dude that's pretty funky and then on the shelf up here we have some movie star ones there's like movie star Leo and over in the corner there's a movie star Don the paint job on these guys looks a little funky. They're supposed to have uh, extra detailed skin, but they kind of look like they're covered in barnacles or maybe like alien eyeballs. It was a very unique, uh, odd paint choice for these guys. I wanted to highlight this because uh, as soon as I saw it, it took me back to like 2012 at the flea market in one of the very early video game sellers episodes. Uh, one of the fans of the show came up, I think from Miami, and brought a bunch of things to sell, and one of them was a sealed one of these, the Bully Collector's Edition on the PS2. There's no game inside, but check out this price. $80, and even without the game, that is a hell of a deal. And I wanted to mention that this store in general, it's a comic book store, toy store, video game store, it's a little bit of everything, and everything is priced really well. Um, nothing is, you know, like 50% above what you would see at price charting. I think everything, at least game-wise, is based off of price charting or cheaper. Um, and there's a lot of good deal. Like, this is a damn good deal. And then, just to show you what is inside the collector's edition, you got a kickball, which was a really unique item. You know, most of the time back then, you maybe got a statue or a soundtrack or art book. You got a kickball, some buttons, some stickers, like a little school, like, pamphlet in there. Like I said, no game, but, I mean, it's a very inexpensive game. I was tempted to pick this up, but I'm trying to be a really good boy and not add more collector's editions to the piles of collector editions that I already have. But someone else needs to come get this for only $80. Eddie, this is the best thing in the store. <laughs> Absolutely. The dress up Bigfoot little standee. Yeah, thing. You can put him in his undies. You can put him in all types of stuff, Look man. He, you can have the Hawaiian Sasquatch, the Irish Sasquatch, Scottish party Squatch. I would argue that's Aloha. That is Aloha Squatch, yes. Uh, this is pretty amazing. If I was going to leave here with anything, I think it has to be probably this. <laughs> All right, thanks, Austin. We uh, enjoyed being here. You have an awesome store. Thank, uh, thank you very much for having us. Do you have anything else you want to say to the people? Uh, yes, I want to say that Retro Rat, we're also a family. So without our team, we're nothing. So I have been able to assemble over time just the best group of people that make everything in here function from the store still running seven days a week to us being able to do shows very important uh without the <laughs> retro rat team uh this would never exist and with all of our you know friends family supporters we thank you all greatly because you have turned uh, my dream into reality and without all of you none of this would ever happen without my team this would ever happen and also my mother and father because oh, nice. growing up my mom was an antique dealer and my dad deals in you know old lionel pre-war trains and it runs in the blood yeah, politically incorrect toys so my, <laughs> my, uh, my, my whole entire life i was raised in this business i also want to say thank you to mom and dad for giving me the gift to be able to do this and enjoy every day of my life doing it it's very cool and then yeah. you mentioned shows you do conventions so if you happen to see around the country yes retro rats yes. At a and convention. we're actually starting to go out of the state now so if you want to see us at a convention if it's a major convention in your area go ahead and reach out to us uh, we can get in contact with promoters and we can come to your city uh, anywhere in the US is up for grabs we're starting to hit the road awesome well thank you again man thank pleasure you, being here yes thank, and you. thank you all guys for watching as always love you peace have a good one yeah because okay, they're in water all the time well no they don't get barnacle he's saying like <laughs> they have markings like yeah. on their skin but their markings don't look like eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true that. Okay.